Hi guys, I just wanted to show you what I've been doing lately. I have been making some journals to put into my Etsy shop because it's about time I did something. So there we have it, that's just what I've all got there. Um, yeah, so my Etsy shop's not had anything for quite a while and I decided I'm going to make these so I'll show, quickly show you each one. Um, I'm not going to do it in detail because it would take far too long and uh, I will be getting these up into my Etsy shop tonight and hopefully you can stop by and have a wee look. So I'll just show you each individual one quickly, okay? This is my Nightmare Before Christmas one that will be going up into my Etsy shop. Um, so just a quick look through. It's just basically the same. It's just got a basic cover. Um, this one is more purple and blue this time. I think it, I showed my last one which was just purple. And it's just got the digital papers, tea stain papers and it's got pockets with ribbons. And um, it's just pretty much that all the way through. And so I'm going to keep this quick because it really is uh, going to be very time consuming to show you everything. Every little detail. But yeah, it's just um, your basic journal with pockets, some digital paper and tea stained paper. This is my Zelda one. And you see it's a lot of green and gold cover um, with a picture there and it's also got a little bottle here that you can actually take the cork out of. And it's the same again, it's just uh, the digital papers, tea stain papers and then little pockets for keepsakes and knickknacks and whatever else you feel you need to put in. And um, yeah, it's just all that same thing all the way through. You know, little jewels and things like that. So yeah, it's... Yeah, well, I've just kept it simple. Lots of space for writing, which I always think is very important for something that's called a journal. And this is my Studio Ghibli one. Um, I've, you know, this is no face on the front, and these are just little jewels. It's got little jewels on the side. And um, it's just digital papers. Like I say, they're all digital papers. And then little pockets. This is sort of some of the last of the, my neighbour Totoro washi tape that I had left on it. And um, yep, yeah, it's just all the way through. Here's my Game of Thrones one. Well, I'll put in the corner there. It's just a little decoration there. Um, I was going to put, you know, like the Iron Throne on there. I thought, well, I actually really like the Three-Eyed Crow. So that's what I did. I put the Three-Eyed Crow on. And then it's just the, the digital papers, so like all the different houses. So that was Stark and this is... I'm sure that was Lannister, it could be Tyrell, I'm not sure. And then it's just the same all through, you know, pockets, digital paper. Uh, and all that. And then we just go th keep going through. It's just, um, yeah, kept them simple so they're more like a sort of starting point for anybody that just wants to, 
you know, even decorate it a bit more themselves or put more into it. But there's certainly plenty of space for writing and plenty of space, tuck spots, well, the little pockets are in tuck spots, for um, putting any ephemera in that you so desire. Last one I have is a Doctor Who, because I'm a big Doctor Who fan, so I thought, oh, I'm sure somebody out there will be looking for a Doctor Who journal. <laughs> Um, I was going to do this like River Songs journal and I probably will make one of those in the future but this one I just wanted to make it. You know, I, I wanted to stick with the kind of same theme that I've used throughout all these which is just kept keeping it simple with digital papers, the tea dyed papers and you know lots of little pockets. So that's what I've just done. and that. That was an image I got off the um, the internet, it's the TARDIS, but it's absolutely beautiful and I really, really liked it, so it went on. Oh, uh, just digital papers, you know, there's all the sonic screwdrivers, these stained papers, ribbons, and then we just keep going back through the same thing. And of course the new season has just started as well which I enjoyed the first episode of for any Whovians out there I really do like this ribbon and I actually think it came with a, a red background for the stars this, so this is the blue one and there was a red one and I think I might just get some more of the red one well I'll get some of the red one and more of the blue one I don't have any of the red one so that's that and these are going to be all my um, journals. I'm going to stick these up on my Etsy shop. So I would really appreciate it if people took a, had a little look. I'd even appreciate it even more if they bought something. Um, but yeah, that was just a kind of heads up that I'm finally going to start putting stuff into my Etsy shop. Because I've had it a long time and I have sold quite a lot of things from it but for about the past year or so I've not had anything so it's about time I started getting things in it and I had lots of these and I do enjoy it I mean they can be time consuming to make but uh, yeah it's it's something because I've done so many it's easy to do and I can just sit and watch the telly while I'm doing it so there we have it those are my, excuse me, my journals that will be going into my Etsy shop. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you stop by my shop. Okay, bye.